there's never a dull moment in the golf. Sometimes we're fishing. Sometimes we're being creative with some essential repairs. Sometimes we're hunting down mud crabs. And all of the other things in between, like going exploring, chasing pigs, Dane toad races, and enjoying life in general. I'm Mikey Cunningham, and in this episode, you're going to spend a whole week with me. Well, let's get straight into it. I'm at my camp at King Ash Bay Fishing Club on the morning of day one. Well, I've had a couple of dramas with me boat Flanders recently, but uh, I think I've eliminated the problem to the starter motor. That's it there. Had Jamie from King Ash Bay Servo just uh, fix it up for me. Made all the parts that should be moving, made them move again. So hopefully we can get Flanders on the water again real soon. That is cowling off. That's where the starter motor goes, right there. Oh, the moment of truth. I really hope this works. <laughs> that's like brand new. Well, that's one boat sorted and ready to hit the water. But there's a second boat we need to get ready to launch today. It's the houseboat owned by my mate Ash. He's a professional mud crab fisherman here in the Gulf and he spends most of his time out on the houseboat as a bit of a home base while he's out working. You've seen this boat before in virtually every video I uploaded last year. The wet season is officially over and it's time to get the Explorer back on the water with one little upgrade that I'm really excited about. Yeah mate, happy birthday. Woohoo! Look out, two flash now. Oh yeah. Boat ram, wait for uh, all the tourists to pull their boats up, and then uh, nice high tide this afternoon, so it should be nice and easy. I'm going to meet up with him tomorrow, I'm going to take my boat down. And that was the plan, but as you'll see on day two, plans change around here pretty quickly. Oh yeah. Loading up old Pinky. We're on our way into the nearby town of Borolula. How many dogs are we bringing? Three. Three. Yeah, hey, hey Jack. Heaps of room. Heaps of room. Ash got a message last night about a pig that had escaped its yard and was making a nuisance of itself around town. Our plan is to come in and catch the pig and bring it home for dinner. The pig's got out of its pen and uh, we've been told that it's been ripping up gardens all around Borolula, so we're coming to find it. We've got the, uh, the search party over here sniffing around. Where's the pig? Yeah, we've got the master tracker at work as well. Oh, yeah, down local. Oh, it's onto it. Going this way, eh? Nah, his toes, eh? Curled in. Keep searching. Fast forward about two hours, and we're back at home with some fresh pork for dinner. Uh, we, got, we got a bit of uh, dry rub, mate, a bit of honey killer bee. Ooh. Bit, bit hot, bit sweet. Sure. Well, we're not ready to eat it yet, young boy. <laughs> no, but you can't cook that. She's red. Like that. <laughs> Blue pork. Start eating now. <laughs> Good taka. Oh yeah. Vietnamese always cook like that, good taka. 
<laughs> oh, yummy man, look. Good. <laughs> This is like pork. <laughs> <laughs> Not like chicken, eh? <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> and this little piggy took up all of day two. Welcome to day three. Flanders is cruising nicely down the MacArthur River and we're on our way to visit Ash at his houseboat. Good morning, sir. Good morning, sir. Good morning, young boy. Good morning, sir. How are you, sir? Good, sir. <laughs> <laughs> young boy had an early start. Started work at 2 a.m. He works the uh, nighttime tide, so he's just kicking back. Ash just cooked up a feed. And I'm thinking about going for a fish, maybe out on the flats if it's not too windy out there. Ash is going to be ready to go on his crab run in about an hour and I'm going to go with him today. So I've got a little bit of time to sneak up a little creek and try and quickly catch a fish or two. Oh, there's heaps of prawns. Heaps of prawns. Prawns are only fairly small. Most of them are getting out of the net, but that's all right. We'll keep a few. Gently drop them just there. 2.4 meters of water on this little bend. I think these prawns are going to be pretty popular. They will not last long. Oh, yep, he's on. Feels like, I don't know what it feels like. It's not a cod. It's definitely not a barra. Maybe a catfish. Ah, oh, catfish. <laughs> You bastard. You bastard. Oh, you mongrel. Although the quick little fishing session is a fail, it wasn't a total waste of time. I can keep this catfish for Ash to chop up and use as fresh crab pot bait. It will provide enough bait for about four pots, which means it's possible to turn this one catfish into hundreds of dollars worth of mud crab. Got my boat moored up to the houseboat there. I've jumped on with Ash. It's coming up towards high tide, so it's time to go crabbing. day so far. <laughs> wow, some big boys in there. Oh, empty. No good, man. Unreal. Well, folks, this is the Gulf of Carpentaria. We're in uh, the Northern Territory of Australia. The MacArthur River is oh, maybe 10 kilometers that way. And this is commercial mud crab fishing. Gulf mud crabbers. Well, Ash has just lifted another really good pot. Got this big boy out of it. It's like majority keepers in here. Look at that. Yeah, me too. So one's going back? This one's going back, yeah. He's just getting a little bit soft still. So he's not not quite 100%. And you so only keep the best ones. Only keep the good ones, mate. So let him go, catch him next week when he's full or the week after. Yes, people might not be able to see at home, but when I'm picking them up by the one hand like that out of the pot, I'm almost always got my finger up there, my uh, middle finger touching there, pushing in yep. to see if he's full. I don't have to hold him down hard and do it like that with every one. I can feel that he's firm. And then he's 
at least 90 percent so i'll put him in the box and then when it's time if i'm not 100 percent sure i'll just check him probably 100 percent and if he's no good i can let him go for a time up oh he's still hungry this one too yeah he wants a freebie <laughs> When he's empty again. When I pick him up, I put my finger underneath there and feel it. He's not 100% empty, but he's not 100% full, he's just a bit soft there. So, for me, he's just a little bit soft. Looks okay, it looks like, and he's very heavy. That's the biggest crap today, that's unreal. Yeah. Normal water bottle there, something like that, maybe. Yeah, it looks like a miniature water bottle. So, yeah. <laughs> Big boy. <laughs> Big fella. Yeah, wow. He's probably uh, about 1.2, 1.3 kilos. Yeah, cool. He's nearly 200 mil across. Tell me he's, he's full. full. He's, he's, yeah, he's, he's, he's get there before the bar closes, get myself a palmy. We're only about 40 minutes to get back to the boat ramp at King Ash Bay Fishing Club there. I thought I'd just stop and remind you about the merch, Goldies Before Coldies, with this handsome devil on the front. So jump on the website, mikeycuttingham.com.au and check out the merch. Anyway, let's get it moving. I'm back here at King Ash Bay Fishing Club and I'm about to go this way to walk into Groper's Bar and Grill. Had a massive day on the water today and I'll tell you more about it when I get in there. Katie, ask me what I did today. What did you do today, Mikey? Well, today I took Jess and Jordan, our new backpackers, out on the river. Uh, they've come all the way from Canada. They've come here to work and they really wanted to see the river, so I took them out today. Well, the guys were working at the bar till late last night, so we're not having too much of an early start this morning, as you can see. So I'm about to finish packing up the boat and go pick them up. So I'm about seven minutes early. Let's see if they're ready to go. Oh. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Who's Ned Flanders? Oh my goodness. <laughs> yeah, you guys jump out. <laughs> <laughs> Princess Street, make a story for me. I'm gonna, yeah, I'll launch the boat. I might bring it down that side where Tom and Lynn are, and then you guys can climb in while I go park the car. Cool. <laughs> Some of the commercial crabbers in this area stay in shacks like these ones. Good morning, sir. It saves them time and money running up and down the river each day. This morning we are visiting the Mad Mullet. Yeah, that's where it all happens. It's their workplace. Who already has a feed of mud crab cooked for the Canadians to try for their first time. Oh, fresh crab, look at this. Yes. Followed by a behind the scenes tour. This one here, make sure you buckle up, eh? Buckle up, bro. That's it. <laughs> Safety first. Yeah. <laughs> oh, 
all they're all coming. alive, eh? Yeah, all alive crab, ready to go to the market. Holy. And this is, you tie all of them like yeah, that? Yeah, tie as you go, yeah. Jesus. Cool. That's wild. Good crab, eh? Yeah. It's huge. Do they ever break out of the rope? Uh, or? Sometimes they do because they have barnacles <laughs> underneath their shell there. Yeah. And you see it's trying to get out, it rubs and rubs, and then and sometimes you go in there to go and check them, and the next thing they'll might bite you or something. Wow. So that there's ready for market. Yeah. All nice and stacked up. So then my mud crab boy can get them out easy then. Yeah. Do you have to like soak them in salt water or something every now and then? Yeah, that's yeah. true. Yeah. Every morning, every afternoon. Oh, yeah have to be cared for, don't they? That's it, it's like looking after dogs or animals. Some bacon on the go. Some scrambled eggs. Got some fried eggs. Got the wraps, got the sauce. Yeah. Fried good. eggs and good vibes. Oh yeah. yeah. <laughs> Who's hungry? Me. Oh yeah. Let's come get some. We've got one more stop to make before we head home. I'm going to show Jordan and Jess how the other half live. We're visiting Ash on his houseboat. You've seen how mullets does it, you've seen how Ash does it. Which one would you prefer? Yeah, the houseboat's all right. Yeah, the houseboat, for sure. Yeah, we'll come follow you if that's all right. Yeah. Show these guys what it's like out there. Follow Ash while he checks his first few crab pots before we head back to camp. I've got to get these guys back to Groper's Bar tonight for work. Well, you guys look about as tired as I feel. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I could use a nap for sure. It is happy hour though, so you gotta follow the rules. Look at my back, everyone. Oh, Jesus. Sunburn. <laughs> Jesus. There's the thumbnail photo. <laughs> <laughs> this is Ash and I at about 8am on the morning of day 5. This morning we're taking some supplies down to the houseboat. But our morning started hours ago. Today is Anzac Day. Lest we forget. Ash and I ran the dawn service here again this year. I'll show you some highlights from two up shortly, but first we're heading down the river to resupply this Good houseboat. Good to go. Good to go mate. Oh yeah. measure of the freezer on the door and uh, yeah turns out it won't fit but it will fit through the back door I'm just gonna bring the boat out the back here I assume here he comes That's how we move 300 kilos of hen wings. <laughs> Trading chicken wings for mud crabs. It's not a bad trade. There you go. Turn him into 100 bucks. <laughs> <laughs> I reckon go play some two up. What do you reckon, mate? Yeah, send um. it. Oh, no, we've got a few people want to play some two up. Yeah. Well, congratulations, mate. <laughs> Far out. Thank you. Well, after 14 heads in a row, he threw a tail. Wow. Oh, 
Well, I'm about 20 minutes early, but I've made my way down here to the boat ramp. Early in the morning on crab load up day, got me coffee, rode me push bike down here, and uh, all of the crabbers will be rocking up in the next 20 minutes with the truck, and we'll see their catch for the week. Good morning, young boy. How you doing, Goldie? Yeah, really good. I didn't catch that Goldie, but I haven't. <laughs> <laughs> Sticky beak. Oh goodness me, young boy. Young boy's had a good week by the look of it. Mikey, I didn't do it. <laughs> <laughs> because short man can pull it. We got it, we got it. See, short man, no good. <laughs> Well, it's been a very big few days. Um, just decided to come down by myself today, pack three chopper rods in the car. Got two rigged up with lures, one rigged up with bait that's already in the water over here. So time will tell, we'll see how we go, and let's get into it. I'm getting hits up here. Quickly get this lure in. How I feel. Yep, he's on. Oh, it's a shark. Absolute mongrel. Ah, what a bastard. Cranky. Oh, well. There we go, first catch of the day. I assume it's a bull shark. Yeah, anyway. Certainly not our target species. See ya, buddy. Get back in there. Yep. I think he's on. No. I don't know what's happening. You have got to be kidding me. Oh, tell me you can see it on the GoPro. That is a mud crab. That is a mud crab. This is 100% fresh water. He's about to let go. What? That's why I couldn't work out what was happening. Oh. Fish on. <laughs> Must have bloody landed on it. I think it's a rat bar. It is. Yeah, wow. He didn't even sort of hit it. He was just on. There you go. You beauty. Just chill, bro. There you go. A little rat bar. Look how dark it is. He's been up here in the fresh water. Maybe only a year old, maybe two. But um, yeah, so we've caught a baby barra and a shark so far. I wish I could swap sizes. A barra the size of that shark would have been nice. Anyway, I'll drop this guy. I'll drop this guy in the shallow water just here. There you go, straight through the reeds and out. Off he goes. Gone, he's still swimming towards me or what? What are you? What are you doing, bro? Oh, shook its head like a barrel, I thought. I think it's a big tarpon. Oh well, big for here anyway. It just jumped out of the water. It wasn't a queenie. But it had a forked tail. Yeah, that's a <laughs> Oh, wow. There you go, unexpected again. 
<laughs> uh, there you go. <laughs> tarp and covered in sand. Yeah, they don't get a whole heap bigger than that here. That's that's a really good tarpon. <laughs> All right, see you, buddy. Whoa, you're an idiot. Yep. That's got to be a queenie. That's got to be a queenie because I was winding in so fast. Smash it off the top. By the time I get this fish in, we'll probably be close to out of light. We got him. Oh. <laughs> there you go. Probably the last fish of the day. We might go in back into camp and go have a couple of beers at the pub. There you go. 2% on that one. Okay, I'll do three more casts. Oh. Yep, straight on. Come on, don't be a queenie. It's only little, unfortunately. <laughs> what are ya? Mangrove Jack. There's your Mangrove Jack. Just another species to add to the list today. This is not what I was expecting from today, but <laughs> good fun anyway. See you, buddy. All right. Good morning, sir. Good morning. Are you accepting visitors? Oh, no. I have gifts. My last day here. Last day. So I brought you a little surprise. Oh. There you go, mate. I know the staunch crab one has been your favourite for a long time. Oh, look out. Nothing wrong with staunch crab, but we do have a golf mud crab as one now. Oh, look out. New lids. <laughs> Ash, yeah, Ash actually helped me design that one. Perfect. Since we're out here, I might as well go and get out there and do some fishing. And boy, did I work hard. I started out the front in the channel and hooked up to shark. Ah, uh, to shark, little black tip bastard. After shark, bloody sharks. After shark. Come on. Oh, it is a shark. You are kidding me. Oh, little bastard. Come on. Oh, you're kidding. A shark, a little shark behind it, and it swung around my other line. God damn it. I went for a total change of plan and decided to flick lures for a couple of hours on the flats. finish up at one of my favourite spots that usually always produces. Managed to get one small goldie. Thanks for coming along buddy. Followed by the most interesting catch of the day. Well since there's nothing else going on we might as well have a quick look at this guy. You can see he's got big spikes there and on top and on the other side he looks almost codish sort of a little bit flathead-ish, but certainly very ugly. That's the second one I've ever caught. First one I've ever caught here. And uh, I've got no use for him, so uh, three-spined frogfish. And uh, go back and fight another day. Hmm. Well, I've got one more bait left, which is in the water at the moment. <sighs> Sharks, catfish. Frogfish. <laughs> uh, not the way I wanted to end the video. 
Thanks to everyone who bought the merch after I launched it in my previous video. The response exceeded expectations and we've had orders come from every state and territory in Australia. On the website right now, you'll find Goldies Before Coldies shirts, trucker caps and stubby holders, some King Ash stubby holders, and the Golf Mud Crabbers trucker caps sold out within a couple of days, so we've already ordered the next batch. You can back order them to make sure you don't miss out. Also stay tuned because I've got some more exciting new designs in the works too. I'm Mikey Cunningham, this is where all the magic happens. Thanks again for watching and I'll see you in the next video.